Hey there everybody. So in this video I'm going to show you quickly how you can image a bunch of uh, USB drives at a time. And I'll show you how I do it so that you can get some ideas for your own projects. Uh, so I sell these computers online, thin clients, and I install these tiny little USB um, flash drives and set them up with some software. Um, that I've already set up for one. So I took the the time to set up one properly and then I copied the contents of this uh, flash drive onto a um, a zip drive, a, zi a zip file in, in my computer here. So um, what I did is I looked for a way to to connect many of these flash drives at a time in, a, in an easy way. So I found this on Amazon. It's a great little um, hub, which which has um, ports that can be powered on, on and off. So as you can see here, I plugged that one in and that one is now being connected to the computer. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this up with a bunch of drives here. And then I'll show you how I, I, um, I use the terminal here to uh, to set them up. Okay, so as you can see here, I've installed a bunch of these um, these um, flash drives. By the way, if you want to get this this one from Amazon, I have links in the description so you can go straight to see this one or related items, and you can buy one. They're fairly cheap, and if you're doing this kind of work um, or plugging in USB devices in and out, like I use, also use this. I also put a link to this one, which is allows me to 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 work with IDE, SATA, and um, other drives in one. So I'll put links to both of them, and I'll show you how that one works in another video. But yeah, uh, now that I, going back to this, now that I've set up all these flash disks here, you can see here that they're all being detected as this SanDisk cruiser. Um, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you in the terminal here, if you go to slash volumes, you'll see that they're, they all show up as a no name, no name one, no name two, no name three, no name four, no name, no name five. So there's six being detected and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Huh, one of, one of them is not showing up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let me, let me, turn these off one by one and see what happened there. So now I go up here and there's nothing. So I'm going to, I'm going to go and one by one, let them show up. All right, that one works. That one works. Okay, one by one, we're seeing them pop up. Okay, so now we are up to four. Now we should see five. Okay, we're up to five. And six. Now the last one. Okay, so now we have them all there. I'm not sure what happened there before, but um, now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so now I'm going to go into one of these. And you see that the contents of the drive there, and I will look at... my history here to get a command that I normally use here. So it's this one right here that I use. I notice that I have um, the contents that I'm going to put into the flash drive for the Windows XP computer that I'm using in this zip file. So if I go asterisk 512, hopefully you're also learning some Unix commands. So this means that I can, I run the command from my history 512 which is that one make sure that i'm inside the the drive that i want to that i want to write to 
and then I'm gonna say yeah overwrite everything and now it's gonna start writing as you can see there it's writing and what I do is now I go I can go to a next tab and then go to volumes oh come on it's hard to type with with, with one with just one with my left hand <laughs> nevertheless <laughs> I'm trying to write to create these uh, short videos um, in a very unprofessional way, just because I want to show you things that I do along the way in the house without having to be all, uh, putting up professional videos. I can do those as if you can see my previous ones; they're a little bit more professional. But this is, you know, this is real life. This is what you actually have to do sometimes uh, behind the scenes to set things up and and. Uh, and then you you tend to only see the the um, the flashy results um, on on YouTube. So I'm showing you almost like the I'm behind the scenes. <laughs> All right. So going back to history here, um, and here I don't see it. Let me see. All right. So one eight six. I can do one eight six here. And again, it'll do that. And as you can see here, I will open tabs for each one of these, each one of these, and I can go ahead and set up one at a time. Uh, well, all of them in parallel. And by the time I get to this one over here with another tab, this one will be done. So this is one quick way to set up a bunch of flash drives. Um, I also use DD. Uh, for imaging so you can actually use you can create an image of the disk and then write the image back but for my purpose here I just wanted to uh, you know Windows and DOS machines they tend to be really really flexible with with uh, the, 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 the keeping everything and as long as you have the files they are stored in the in the path as you can see here this is Warcraft T3 and and I'm writing that to a directory called programs files so I just copy everything to the drive plug it into my Windows XP computer, and it works. And yeah, hopefully that was helpful. Uh, like I said, I, I'm going to put links to this and, um, and some other tools that I use uh, on Amazon in the description to this video so that you can go ahead and, and give it a shot and uh, and add some, some uh, you know, uh, products to your, to your workbench that might be useful. All right, so let me know what you think. In the comments, uh, if you like this, subscribe. Um, you know it really helps. To, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers so that I can start monetizing on YouTube because you know I'd, I'd like to grow this channel and be able to get some of that money from the ad revenue and uh, and start um, to be able to afford you know better videos, better better editing stuff like that because I do have a full time job. Uh, so this is kind of uh, for fun right now. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think, please. Till next time.